Hello everyone, I am Saad Shahid and uh, I welcome you to the lecture videos on the well test interpretation and uh, in this video what I will be discussing is the introductory topics on well test interpretation now what reservoir engineers need to do is basically they need to come up with a field development strategy that is uh, optimal for a particular field and that field development strategy is uh, basically specific for a particular field and must be made carefully and in order to develop a field development strategy uh, reservoir engineers use two models the first one is the economic model and the second one is the reservoir model and uh, basically what are these two models it is the first one the economic model it basically takes into account present and projected economic information such as uh, price of oil and gas interest rate return on investment etc so pretty straightforward B basically it takes all the applications of petroleum e economics and uh, on the basis of uh, those applications uh, we make up a model that uh, we can use for to develop a field development strategy now we move to our model of interest that is the reservoir model the reservoir model is used to predict the physical behavior of the field in terms of rate of production and fluid recovery for different operating conditions such as uh, primary recovery secondary recovery tertiary recovery etc and um, what is interesting about uh, the reservoir model is that uh, in order to get realistic predictions we need to make uh, the reservoir model that closely represents the reservoir as it can so uh, this is particularly important and then the fun interesting thing regarding the reservoir model is that it is never definitive but it must be continually adjusted as the new information becomes available when additional wells are drilled so a reservoir model is never complete it is continually adjusted it continuously improved and uh, on the basis of that model our field development strategy also uh, modified so what are the parameters that we need to construct a reservoir models uh, basically we need to get information from geology uh, geophysics and wells and the parameters basically we use for the construction of reservoir model are basically obtained by direct measurements on cores and cuttings and PVT samples etc and uh, through the interpretation of well logs seismic data well test data etc the thing uh, regarding well testing is that it is the only application the only application in petroleum engineering and reservoir engineering that provides information regarding the dynamic behavior of the reservoir thus um, it is essential for every single field development strategy every single field uh, reservoir model so basically what well test data may provide it may provide information regarding permeability initial or every reservoir pressure near well bore conditions such as skin or stimulation reservoir flow behavior reservoir size inflow performance response communication between wells etc all this information is basically depending on the design of the well test so for a particular design or that maybe few of the information we can get and for to get the rest of the information we need to perform a different type of test so now what is a well test a well test is basically a process in which we record downhole pressure response due to changes in flow rate so what we do is that we change the flow rate by changing the choke size and uh, we monitor the pressure response Th therefore we are controlling the input and we are measuring the output 
why I'm using the term input and output here you will later know in few uh, next of the lectures and uh, it has significance regarding a uh, mathematical significance and uh, basically the response which is uh, characteristic of the production history and uh, reservoir characteristic is basically it can be interpreted by the analysis of change in pressure delta p versus elapsed time delta t we do this analysis by plotting uh, a curve between delta p and delta t on log log scale some cartesian scale more details would follow in the next lectures but uh, generally we take uh, elapsed time on the x axis and take pressure on the y axis now well test objectives what are the well test objectives basically well test objectives are three reservoir evaluation reservoir management and reservoir description reservoir evaluation basically we need to reach a decision regarding how to produce a reservoir or whether to produce it or not so to reach this decision we need the uh, information regarding the deliverability properties size and um, one more important thing is that um, for this particular thing that is the reservoir evaluation uh, we basically attempt to determine the reservoir conductivity that is the kh product or the permeability thickness product and uh, reservoir pressure and reservoir limits so basically in any at the same time what we do is basically that uh, we will sample the fluids and uh, measure the physical properties now the kh factor basically governs how fast a fluid can flow to the well so it is important and it is the parameter that we need to know in order to design well spacing and the number of wells so if the conductivity is low we may need to evaluate the cost effectiveness of uh, a stimulation job the reservoir pressure basically tells us about the potential energy that the reservoir has and how long the current production can be sustained so and the reservoir limits basically they enable us to determine how much reservoir fluid is present and to estimate whether the reservoir boundaries are closed or open now reservoir management basically uh, during the life of a reservoir we need to monitor its performance and well conditions so a well test may be used in order to determine whether a well needs a work over or a st stimulation is needed things like that for reservoir description basically it's all regarding the geology and geophysics we need to construct different reservoir um, uh, physical models of the reservoir uh, so well test data may be used now here I would like also like tell you the something regarding uh, well testing and decline curve analysis in uh, pressure transient analysis the pressure transient is considered to be the response of a specific flow rate history therefore the input here is the specific flow rate history and the output is the pressure transient whereas in decline curve analysis what we consider is that a uh, flow flow rate response to a specific pressure history now here the input is the specific the pressure that is we are controlling the pressure and we are measuring the flow rate response and the process in the in between the input and output that is the system is basically the reservoir so i can say that both the decline curve and analysis and well testing are theoretically the same thing so this is interesting and uh, but for practical reasons we uh, kind of differentiate them because uh, 
for earlier analysis, uh, we prefer well testing because uh, it is far easier to control the flow rate and measure pressure response than to wait, uh, the, uh, than to control the pressure and wait for the flow rate to drop. So in early analysis, such as in order to investigate the near well bore conditions, we prefer well testing and for long term applications, we basically rely on the decline curve analysis since we are then controlling the pressure and monitoring the flow rate decline. So this was about this lecture. In the next lecture, I would hopefully cover the types of well test and uh, continue my discussion regarding the fundamentals. Here is a list of references that I used in order to make this presentation. And uh, in the end, I would like to say is uh, thank you for your time. And please, uh, if you find any discrepancy, any mistake in any of my lectures, then please do notify me. I would appreciate it. I'm also a student and uh, it would help me a lot in order to clear my own understanding as well as uh, people who are uh, watching this and uh, one more thing that I would like to mention in this particular since it is a start of the well test analysis is that uh, I would try to make well test uh, interpretation simple but uh, not simpler because uh, I believe in what Einstein said that uh, things should be made simple but not simpler and well testing is not particularly very easy so in the complex when something is complex is then um, it is complex you have to deal with it so thank you very much goodbye